Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry we didn't have any drinks to give you. But we have lovely tablecloths. If you have some mustard, you could eat the tablecloth. Uh, I'm doing a stand-up on the show because the people, uh, NBC said, well, America don't know who you are. And you come out and they're scared. They just see black people and they get nervous if they don't know who they are. So you should come out and introduce yourself. I was born. <laughs> Then they feel safe. Oh, it's all right, Marge. You can watch him. <laughs> he was born. It's wonderful. And um, I feel like a kid. I love children because they talk so straight. I love the way they be singing, right? This is the dawning of the age of And you ask them questions, they never answer you straight, right? They go, what happened? I win, win, first, first in, first, first in when we went in, Jimmy, then, then he had, then he pulled things, and, and, and I didn't do it. No matter what you ask them, they'd be, and when they cuss, they're great, you know, they go, Poop a dooey poop a dooey poop a dooey poop a Beautiful, Jack. My father had a great way of dealing with me. Richard! Mm -hmm. Come come here. No, I, no, come, come here. No, no, I said come here. No, not back. Bring, bring it up here. Right, right. What, what, what's that reefer doing in your pocket? What, what, a reefer in your pocket? Damn it. What was the reaper? The reaper. I said the reaper in your pocket. And my mother would tell on me, right? She'd be talking, but it hurts me more than it hurts you. I said, well, let him beat your ass. Kids and hillbillies are my favorite people. Because hillbillies are like children, too. You know, they, they don't know what they're talking about either, you know. <laughs> you ever get lost in the South and ask the hillbilly directions? They tell you the history of the world, but they never tell you where you want to go. I say, how do you get down? Well, I'll tell you what you do, boy. You take Junction 35 and you drive down about 14 miles. You make a left turn up there by the big hog sign. Uh, Jed Wells built that hog sign up there back in 1927. And it has a big snout coming out of it, because I remember an old boy had a semi, I was driving down through there, and he jackknifed on him, just flipped over the road. Cans and everything laid all around. What'd you ask me? <laughs> this is beautiful. Travel. Crashes worry me. You know, I'm afraid to fly, because I think I'm going to die. And I don't want to die. I don't want to die because if I die, I'll leave some money. And my folks are going to argue over the money. In my family, my grandmother will argue over money. My grandmother, because anybody dies in the family, she takes everything. Oh, my grandmother gets, don't tell me. When he died, he had a shoebox up in the closet with the money in. And he had that ring blown to my brother Bill. It's great, you go to black funerals. Black people have a fit at funerals. White people go to funerals and you're just dead. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> is, is, is that dirt necessary? You know, black people fall out of funerals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.